okay I, I guess let's just start from you know from complete scratch I mean I have those examples but um, let's um, just to see I guess the main uh, thing right like adding all the packages and stuff so um, yeah so I guess the latest I guess it's baby baby right oh it's like baby engine okay I mean github baby I think the name was taken and they used baby engine uh, yeah so, I mean the latest version I think it's 13.2 so probably no releases yeah um so we, you know we'll use probably we'll use bevy i'd say that also random like why not bevy asset loader for sure um uh, the only thing that i think it's not needed is bevy agui so you know, i'll just take all of them but this and um, an extra thing that I've seen in a lot of baby projects is to compile with some optimizations like you use O3 for the packages and O1 for uh, debug mode code so like this is gonna make it take a bit longer in uh, cargo build I guess because it has to optimize all the dependencies and I mean you know like Rust is a bit slow but uh, it is gonna make it a bunch slower so I like it looks like it's pretty fast right? it almost it's almost done but you know, for some reason it's uh, slow anyway so uh, yeah we are gonna have like I'd say that I'm gonna do everything in a single file initially and um, we'll try to steal stuff from here like at least like uh, game, game states mm -hmm. and uh, stuff that's useful but not that much because I want you know to seem like it's from scratch in a way like uh, but yeah like random and obviously for map generation noise rs uh, for map generation I really like this kind of map looking so it's not gonna have mountains and stuff like that it's gonna be a flat world and um, maybe where there are mountains here we are gonna have like rocks like um, cliffs and uh, that's what you can mine for a rock like for resources not sure how um, three generation on a map is done so let's let's see like three gen Generation map like games. Oh, brackets. Oh. Oh, to be honest, I, I s think I followed this tutorial like 10 years ago. Maybe not 10 years, but maybe less. But uh, yeah. BSP to generate game maps. It's BSP trees. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, yeah. But it's not really this one. Is for you know. I'd be more curious about. Uh, like you know, we're gonna have this map, but where to put the trees, right? 
like we can pull them I guess you can still use pearly noise for trees so okay let, let's also add the noise I have no idea like you can do stuff like cargo add noise right But usually I like to put that from here. Yeah, anyway. So. And even if you add, I think you still have to call to build. Okay. Cargo run. So this is going to run our main file. Perfect. So I'm curious if it's gonna have you know, pretty interesting like how a Rust analyzer is just going ham. Yeah, I mean uh, if it has oh but it doesn't. See like this is a bit weird like you have to restart NeoVim to get the LSP going or like you have to wait quite a lot for this thing to finish like, uh, but even then oh very good okay so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start. So first things first, I would say that it should be the states, right? And probably like assets. I mean, we can we can copy that because it's like. Yeah, so let's say we're gonna have like game states, which are gonna be I don't know either asset loading or playing, and then um, for assets, right now, I mean obviously we can split them. Okay, we also need baby asset loader. Baby asset loader. I think it also has a prelude. So, you know, we might split the game assets into like units, resources, um, stuff like that. So, you know, like buildings, uh, it probably is going to be easier to split them up or something. Uh, like if we take a look at baby asset loader uh, the examples from baby asset loader uh, I mean image assets a lot of stuff there texture atlas no, I have no idea what this is for but atlas from grid but yeah like if you are gonna have uh, different textures in an atlas Sure, 
if, if we are gonna need stuff uh, from here, it's you know self-explanatory. But yeah, we can also split into audio assets and so on. But for now, let's just have like an empty structure for the assets. Okay. Then I would say let's copy paste this thing like the app new and let's see what we actually need from here so default plugins this is just like the window and uh, uh, stuff like that like useful world inspector um, yeah sure uh, like Well, the inspector sure is fine. Maybe F1 should be the help, like enabling, disabling. Then the pan orbit camera, that's, I'd say it's a bit important. Like it's really useful. Uh, this one, I don't care about it. In its state, which gives us the game state, asset loading and playing. Obviously, we'll have like main menu and uh, yeah, but what's I think it's easy about this is we'll just have to say here main menu and that's that. It's gonna be easy to add main menu, right? And add loading state. This is from a baby asset loader, it's gonna load these assets, right? And then go to the playing state. Okay, we'll need a setup function, which I guess we can probably split it into multiple, uh, like setup x, like setup terrain, setup uh, whatever. But let's keep only one setup, and then in the update, uh, let's have. Mm, don't even know. Probably like draw cursor. Yeah, let's just alright. So I like the world inspector. That's I'd say that's probably useful for um, debugging purposes mostly like yeah like in the main uh, game is gonna be removed obviously so but since baby doesn't have an editor uh, that's how you know, we can handle that so uh, yeah let's do fn setup just to see an example so this is going to be our setup function so you know the plane um, this is going to be generated using uh, pearly noise and it's going to be like probably the colors on it so similar to that to this one so yeah like for now let's leave it as it is but you know we'll make it with pearly noise then some random light and the camera which is gonna be which is gonna have that pan orbit thing and so we actually need to import stuff mapping okay this one had that ground thing on it which was like needed for the mouse hovering so yeah let's say that's probably important
and draw cursor that's also i mean it's just for uh, you know debugging purposes so like these are just from the examples uh, from bevy i think that's all let's try to run it okay so uh, oh i wanted to okay so yeah you know we have the the zoom stuff like that yeah sure so like for entities we have the window the thing light and the camera so okay so i guess this is what we had yesterday but uh, also with being able to place stuff um I guess we should start with the map generation first and probably like for optimization and stuff it's gonna be like in chunks and you'll be able to mm, I don't know though if it's gonna be like like you should be able to see the entire map or like uh, you know how in, in factor your uh, I guess that's how it works from what I've seen you have this map which is visible but there's also um, like a border outside of your actual view which also is has logic so you see only this part but this part is also generated uh, so that's how it should be like if there's an enemy here they can attack uh, yeah so the map has to be quite huge which is interesting I mean it can still be split into chunks uh, to be able to load chunks in like let's say you are in the middle and uh, that means you are going to generate uh, I don't know, 10 by 10 chunks let's say or 8 by 8 All right so this one mm, let's say it's something like this maybe right you have a 4 by 4 grid so yeah i mean let's imagine that we have the all of the stuff so something like this right and up here so i'd say that yeah let's imagine that you have like a four by four grid right and this is the visible grid and then maybe two chunks up and two chunks to the left which are invisible but uh, they still handle logic so you cannot see them but that's um, mainly so that you know if we generate only up until the border then no enemies can come into the map so that's mainly the reason why so somehow, okay so we uh, it makes sense to have chunks right and load in chunks each time you go near the edge so let's say you know you are in the middle hmm. then it makes more sense to you know have four chunks to the left four chunks to the right but you get the point like this is just a drawing so like visible chunks four chunks to the left four chunks to the right and uh, then maybe two extra chunks which are just for logic outside of the actual view map so if you scroll like this you can only see four chunks right that's the the idea 
but if you actually have buildings or units close to the edge it also generates uh, terrain in that direction okay so now that you have or we have an idea for that let's see so here is only 20 by 20 i would probably make a const variable const chunk size is gonna be 32 i guess i need to specify u32 right and chunk size is probably gonna be used in here but let's see how we can actually use this uh, this thing so if we take that one and let's do fn map or I guess hmm a map generation let's do just a really simple map generation and then we'll convert it to wait oh I, I see okay okay fair enough It's pretty interesting. Okay, so I guess this is the seed, right? Okay, so this gives us back an FBM purling. It has like octaves, frequency, lacunarity, persistence. So I guess stuff that we did, you know. I'm curious, it should have our oh, default. Um okay, I got there. I mean six one zero point five, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's it looks good to me. So this gives you the dimensionality. No, that's pretty nice, like generic value. It's pretty cool. Haven't seen that before, to be honest. And then what, you can actually use them, right? Yeah, pretty nice. Right, it's like compile time, so it's possible to use it in like type definitions for arrays pretty cool and the first one is what source module who knows what that is oh I guess it's a, a noise function so so yeah the FBM actually it's the source module okay so we pass that but then it complains about set size no method set size which is pretty weird because it's uh, in the i mean let's let's see the examples oh perfect like it has also pictures that's exactly what i complex planet that's what we want probably have some uh, zoom because if we have the planet like this it's gonna be too zoomed out right so we maybe want some zoom in level like this probably yo what the fuck this actually looks like it's but it's more Africa and Asia Europe I mean you know India maybe but it was yeah, and this look like a dick so whoops okay so this would be like simple FBM okay I 
know, like we tried to do this thing in JavaScript, but it was extremely shit. So yeah, pretty happy that it already. I mean, obviously, someone thought about it. That's perfect. Like that's why uh, I'd say that Rust is uh, pretty good because it has a lot of. Uh, like uh, how we do you say like a uh, huge com community so unscaled final planet let's see if, uh, planet oh maybe it was uh, here complex planet holy shit that's huge okay I mean uh, wow Okay, so maybe this is more complex than I thought. So base continent, it's like a noise function. Interesting. Non snake case, man, you are crazy with that. So this is like a noise function for uh, the base continent. Right. Now I'm curious, like, what would that be like, right? Then Huh. Output value from the continent module so that very high values appear near sea levels. Huh. So like this actually... To continent with ranges module, I have no idea what this does. Uh, afterwards, carver module. There is a higher frequency so oh yeah, yeah so mountain ranges will not be completely impassable okay like makes sense probably You know, I would start with something small, like not as huge as this one, and like share. This is cool, like turbulence. Right? But I'd say that let's try to have like a really simple map generation and we build on top of it because usually that's how you do it like caching and stuff hmm. aged multi I mean pretty interesting right like let's let's try to ignore <laughs> all of this stuff and let's see how it's used so probably it's gonna be used here holy shit dude I'm not sure where it's finished because it looks like a huge s oh bro I, I cannot I cannot so this is like the main right and it defines this Oh, it defines a lot of small functions. Okay, I, my bad. I thought it's like no, but it actually does. Huh? 
like it actually creates a lot of but anyway it's like build a planet right okay anyway like let's um I guess what's important is like to have the really basic example first. And so I mean, exam uh, like the map is cool and all, but you know we'll have to build on on top of it. So, yeah, like. Pretty sure this is how we are gonna be able to also do trees and stuff like that. So yeah, the only thing maybe that I'd like to to know is how like coloring is done. So that's a good question, I guess. Like it should be a mapping of colors or something like that. RGB color so it has a color gradient build terrain gradient okay so it it actually has some kind of color mapping in uh, in utils so huh That's pretty cool. I mean, you know, we'll have our own colors, but it's nice that we can actually do something like this. So, input color gradient. Huh. Okay. Anyway, uh, I guess. plane map builder okay but if i do set size it's uh, complaining hmm. so it's uh it's weird isn't it Literally, done the same thing as in the examples, but it's not working. Noise utils of BM Perlin. Right? So weird. No, it's weird. This one is base continent def. Okay, so this is how we would. Yeah, let's 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 take this. So, um, this would be the FBM, right? Even in this one, hmm. like set frequency. No method found. The hell? Use the right version. That's that's a bit strange. Releases. Huh, zero eight. 
although on oh no. on this one there's zero nine. Maybe we need to import this kind of thing, multifractal. So this one is in which module? Uh, if I mean it's in FPM, what? Fractals. See, like this does set frequency and, and so on, so. Is pub use okay? No, weird, uh, but I would say that maybe this is what we need for those errors like set uh, frequency, right? Because it looks like it's implemented in multi fractal. Oh, actually. I'm stupid, I could have just looked at the imports. But here it imports everything from noise and... Uh, I'm not sure if I want that. Right, like if you have a prelude, I, I'm saying like, okay, sure. Like that's how you do it in Bevy, but I wouldn't say import all from utils and... Uh, Okay, anyway, let's uh, let's see. So this is how we build that current seed and, and shit. So where is this one used? So it's using a curve. And where is this thing used then? Build what? Let's, let's see again in the description. Whatever. So here it used plane map builder. Do they have the same thing in here? That's uh... oh yeah. How is this zoom done? Let's uh, so this is unscaled, scaled. Oh, so it's sixteen x zoom. Let's see where is the sixteen x zoom. Like what is the same thing? Oh, it's, it's this one, okay. It's like... Uh... Ah, okay, 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 unscaled. But everything is unscaled, final planet. What the fuck? It's like based on the X bounds and the Y bounds. That's interesting. I mean, it looks like it's a uh, 16x. Sure, whatever. Like, I would say that X bounds is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I mean, current seed, 
obviously can no let's let's see what the currency is oh so it's like zero let's say zero frequency 1.0 and the continent lacunary Should be random but close to two. So this is radiant. Okay, so let's say it's gonna be two or something. Set size, that's what's interesting. Plain map builder. Okay, so let's let's search for set size because okay, so it's in noise map builder right we imported that nice map builder plain map builder like i'm tempted to just say i right, fine just do the import everything but really what would be okay i mean let's in just you know import everything and let's see if it still doesn't work the fuck i mean let's try to use the one from examples Huh. So this one works. Plane map builder. What the actual fuck? So this is in. Oh, but it's for three. It's also implemented here for plain map builder. So this is a bit strange. It's like set size. for cylinder this is for plane but this is also for uh, plane map builder that's why it's a bit a nice function wrapper So let's try to and like uh, no method like what? Right to far. I mean in this example it looks different so and what if I delete that? Okay, it's complaining just about right to far. So maybe how do you say yourself like I know there's a way to say something like importing
utils, right? So let's say let plane or whatever and utils. It's still not the right example to find. And maybe it's in the utils from here. Right. Maybe there's a new utils. I mean, it has this right to find. What the fuck? So it's right to file, right on the thing. It's like plain dot right to file. Dot png. Maybe not even. It's like noise image, noise map. And I can see it's. Noise image here. Yeah, I mean, noise image. Oh, right to file. Oh, we need feature images. Well, I mean, that would be the easiest way to handle it, but you now, like, the next best thing is to try to convert it to a texture, right? Like, that's that's the next best thing so what does build do it returns a noise map noise map looks like it has a map border and size yeah whatever So we can get values okay so it made a vec and it used dot map that's pretty cool let's try to create text but I want to not necessarily use a texture, I want to create my own texture. Create texture from bytes or something like that. But this is really old, so okay, like I mean, this is also an example. Like 
create asset maybe a custom assets and I mean it's not necessarily a custom asset because it's and those load generate texture or maybe image baby texture from image because I don't want to do like a for loop but uh, uh -huh. and this feels uh, useless Is it uh, so difficult like to find the answer? is to you know just do a for loop over all the but you no know, like that feels a bit weird because it is 124 Like obviously chunk size is gonna be this, but yeah, I mean this is still experimental, so maybe baby create image. Creates an image from uh, raw binary data. Oh, this one. Creates an image from raw binary data. Oh, evacuate. Hmm. interesting so you can actually do something like image in new let's see Create image image new so here it passes in size evacuate but this thing the noise map it has vec64 no like obviously the one with map 
the fuck is it? A uh, complex plant. Uh, it had that gradient, so like color. Okay, so we would have this thing. Build terrain gradient. Whoa, really there? But what function does it have? Gradient. It has this render function, which returns a noise image. Um, map the color. Yeah. That would be useful, I guess. Right, to go with the gradient and stuff. Hmm. Because this would give us like an image almost. Can use that image. But it feels kind of stupid to do it like that. Because you know, like based on the high map values, we can add resources and stuff. So. Whatever, let's try it. So this is like height map. Right, height map. Mm, I mean noise map, sure, why not? Noise map. And here would be like let image. Oh, image renderer, what? Is it in uh, YouTube's? Hmm. Like is the image renderer it's in utils but it looks like it's uh, not just like a feature right so it's in utils actually is oh yeah I mean how do you do that like features crazy mm, I mean I'm still gonna keep that Cargo. Features. 
we can do something like yeah like that but can you do cargo add noise features image images oh just image I guess it's just image right or what So we have this thing now with image. The only thing is this noise image has a vec of colors. We would want to flatten this uh, this thing so. But probably we can take like from implementation and it's iter but should be something like hmm. Probably it has doable. So yeah, like image scene needs a uh, vacate. Examples. That like but the issue is Textures push. Okay, basically this is what I needed. Right, we have textures like this and images. And we want to add a new image. Uh, I mean, let's pretend that our treasure returns an image or something like that. Image, right? And here we can actually return it. And I'd say it's gonna be like new extend. 3D extent 3D mm -hmm, interesting can I get the width and height or is it like get size size okay yeah. size sure image dot size so we can say let width height right can I do like default Looks like I can. Oh, I, I lost what this thing takes. Texture dimension. What the fuck is that? Mm, 2D. Texture dimension. D2. Okay, what's next is the data format. Uh, 
Oh, interesting. RGBA, right? I wonder which one is the default, though. If there is like a default, because you know, should be. I mean, it's gonna be RGBA. Okay, I mean, I have no idea. But let's pretend it's gonna be texture format like this. So here comes the data, then. Um, is render asset usages really like it's it's kind of weird that uh, we need to pass in everything like this oh yeah let, you know let me just steal this I guess it's uh, shader RGB or something. Anyway, so just like this will return a new image. And in here for the data, hmm. Now, bro, you're tweaking. So this thing should be image but how can I take the data I have an idea we can iter and uh, flatten and I guess we should also collect it right into vec u8 This is U size, but extend 3 takes in U32. Whoa, oh my god, Jesus. Um, I mean, if I can say this. Iterator, oh, into iterator, okay. Shut your god. Huh. Okay, fair enough. So this creates the fucking image, okay. Jesus. Took a bit, but. Oh no, I lost the example. The fuck did I do? Oh, it's this one. So yeah, let's let's try to actually add the textures. Now what's interesting? Who the fuck right is? Oh, 
Oh. Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Bro, that's weird. Like, who does? I mean, you know, maybe it makes sense for them. But, uh, real. Oh, yo, this is disgusting. Let me tell you that. Images, at least images is gonna come like this. But textures. So, interesting. So, init textures, right? I would say that in need materials like probably it makes sense that we don't have textures here, right? So how things usually go uh, is that we probably have like an array or, or some shit like this. And then when we do init materials, we are gonna get back materials based on those textures. So it looks like we don't really save the textures anywhere. It's just like the textures, images are modified, obviously. Which, what I'm not sure is why isn't images mutable. Res mute. It has to be mutable. Okay, so let's imagine that we need to create a material, so we need materials. Let's see. We need material sticks in this textures array and assets. Whoa, assets, color material. Ooh. No, it's pretty easy to add the image here, right? Like it's just um, it's just pushing the image, make images add images add, right? But let world image is equal to map generation. It's going to be an image. So can we say images dot add? image and this returns a handler or something right handler handle image so it's like we can use it at this point we can probably use it baby image to texture so, I mean this one is you know just create the shit oh 
en buffer. Hmm. No. Probably it has like from color or some some stuff like that, but who knows? Anyway, I mean we'll figure out, you know. Like uh, right now this is just for uh, demo purpose. Okay, so how can we actually convert? image to texture like i see this in it textures right no i'm retarded uh, it's uh in it materials and here it does like whatever materials push assets add so it for some reason it adds a fucking white material oh yo that makes sense so let's uh, say something like let material is equal to color material I'm curious, do we have like new and shit from color? Yo, <laughs> from fucking texture. That's exactly what we need from a handle of image. From, oh my god, oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a uh, handle. I'm tweaking because okay, so this gives us a color material. Yo, if that works. Ain't no oh god fucking damn it. Okay, color material. Oh my fucking god, oh my Jesus Christ. Shit. This has to be I mean what? Fucking dead. Okay, let, let's see there, let's see there. So it wants standard material for some reason it wants a standard material I'm like bro let's let's see so it doesn't like that but how about let material standard fucking material from handler hmm? how about that if it's not complaining it's good Oh, anyway, so you are telling me that if I run this shit, we are gonna see like fucking textured plane. That's gonna be awesome. That's yo, bro. Like this was worth it. I'll I'll tell you that this was fucking worth it. Right, like, holy shit, dude. It's pretty decent. I mean, it's <laughs> the flat earthers are going insane right now, dude. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty cool, huh? I mean, you know, like uh, too much water, too many stuff. Uh, should be more zoomed in. Okay, let's let's try to see if we can figure out how to zoom in the the thing. So, from the example, I saw something like like this. Let's see what happens if we. I guess that's the limits on x axis. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Uh, let me just see where the fucker yo let's let's chill so now maybe you have to set both of them to have a small value otherwise it looks scuffed 401 dependencies okay i mean 
right like this looks much better right like you you know you're gonna build your village like maybe you know, let's let me try like what would happen if I say minus five five I'm really curious what those bounds are. I mean, yeah, I literally have no idea what the bounds are. Plane map builder. So, what the fuck are the bounds for? literally no idea but you know i'm curious what if i use uh, like i said chunk size chunk size for this thing oh okay so bro this this guy is so okay i didn't say anything um like some things are U size, some things are U32. Like, oh, my bad. Uh, U32 is for baby. U okay, and 20. Oh, and guess what? This one is float. and chunker humongous you know what right so this uh, this thing should actually look the same but see it has uh, this uh, ugly ass edges so what i would actually do then probably have things like uh, not necessarily level of detail but your graphics like um, scale or like chunk scale right it's gonna be like U32 or something. Wait, how much is that? 32 times 8. You know, remember the days when we could do fucking multiplications in our head? I remember. Chunk scale. So it's like, probably it's gonna be like a graphics settings chunk scale so or maybe it's gonna be zoom based or some shit not really know but it really will feel like you know if you have lower end graphics like you're gonna have you know what I mean I guess uh, this looks okay. Oh my god. Yeah, you won't be able to build on water. Uh, it's gonna suck. That's why I want to keep probably the the height map as a resource or something. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, decent for now, I would say. So like you know maybe instead of returning the like creating an image and, and shit maybe we can keep the noise uh, noise map as some kind of uh, you know component and uh, have shaders 
that do the image rendering because probably this is not efficient maybe this is efficient and, and, and shit but uh, like doing this for loop probably is not efficient right uh, that's what I'm thinking so but even like shaders I don't know if it's possible to send this many floats into the shader that's gonna be interesting but I, that's I think the best option to maybe use shaders for uh, this and keep the noise map as a component somehow right like this would be generating components you set the position where it is uh, placed What I don't remember though is when you set the position like how do you change that? Probably that's the only thing I'm uh, missing like, you know setting the X and Y coordinates Plane map builder. Because there's no way this is just once, right? It should have X and Y. That's important. Actually, what this thing probably does, oh, I think I get it. It's like from 0 to 0 0.25, oh my god, yeah. And this is for the Y bounds. Okay, so we can actually generate two of them. All right, let's say, hmm, yeah, that would be... Okay, I mean, it's gonna work, obviously, is what I'm thinking, like, if we say here... Um, if we do it twice, I meant. So, let's give here, like, x, f32, x1 and x2. just for this thing x1 x2 i mean if you want uh, 64 f64 okay anyway so so in this one 0.25 and then a new one let's see how about this right so the next one in line so transform from uh, translation XYZ from XYZ why not so it's gonna be zero no chunk size I think should be divided by two or what no and anyway, chunk size all in all considered uh, yeah So 
so now we should have two of them right next to each other huh. okay let's not use uh, ground for that one just to see uh, how it looks right so yeah it actually works okay okay now i understand what uh, bounds is yeah, and imagine like in these places it's gonna be like rocks and stuff but yeah i like the idea of having you know chunks the centers basically and each component is gonna have some kind of data but at the same time this like the images won't change so what's the point of doing a shader like that's gonna compute the colors each frame so it's not a good idea and this uh, image generation does it only once so that's maybe better yeah maybe that's better so uh, yeah like i'm thinking that probably even generating them as images won't be that bad because we do it only once so that might be fine right kind of flat but yeah I mean you cannot really do anything about it maybe like have a bit of a mm, yeah I don't know again that's gonna be like pretty difficult Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just thinking about uh, stuff here, so... I mean, at least we have the map, right? Usually, like in other games, you would have some kind of... Um, bit of depth, where is the water? Or at least like on the shore, I, I mean like... But you know, maybe if the maximum zoom is like this, it's not that noticeable that it's extremely flat. Maybe adding some uh, rocks, like objects, trees and stuff will make it a bit more, uh, like less empty right that's the main issue right now so okay like we have an idea of how to generate planes now for uh, this thing uh let's let's think about it like doing the shader i to be honest i don't know if i like that because again it's gonna do it each frame like the map won't change I would assume I don't think we want the map to like the image to change maybe you know if it's an explosion or something we can add some uh, decal on top of it so that's a way to do it then yeah like the image itself won't change like I don't think it's uh, possible to add uh, I don't know, terrain like modify the terrain I think it's gonna be static terrain well, that's uh, that's the thing so this guy with uh, 
plane generation we should probably have a plane initially which is gonna have the ground but this plane you know can be like like really simple I mean you know the plane is more or less used for this draw cursor for viewport to world getting the intersection between uh, these things and this assumes that our world will be completely flat to be able to build stuff on it that's uh, also a reason why I would want to keep it flat and not have uh, hills although it you know it's it could be fun to have uh, like uh, geographical stuff on it but I think using like uh, big cliffs rocks like that uh, could do it I could add some stuff to the world maybe even like having grass like um, yeah probably the texturing is gonna be important like right now we just use this which is you know pretty crap like even if you look like this it's shiny so it should be you know this is just for the moment we'll probably try to find textures and see how we can apply texture in that because uh, at this point we just use the image rendering that comes with the noise noise function but I'm curious if this is gonna be possible to use like a texture sampler or something like that. I don't know what texture sampler is, but so yeah. I mean, I would do this smaller, like one, 124 max, because maybe uh, like it's important to have some chunking on a, on a map generation. So yeah, but again, we should like map generation should probably return noise map, and then we see how we can make an image from a noise map because we also need the data of the noise map and we need that because we want to generate trees rocks where you can build stuff like you'll be able to build only on uh, uh, the green part mm. I mean you can build anywhere but maybe not on water and not uh, intersecting with the stuff that's like trees and rocks so yeah that's what's important here from the noise map so yeah and then uh, I guess the next part would be actually generating all the planes around the start and having like a discover function which uh, you know if you say discover this uh, chunk you give it the coordinates of the chunk it generates the map around it and uh, should probably should probably how should that work again we might need a separate component that is gonna be a chunk like a map chunk we assign that component to all of these and sure we're gonna have the the ground which is gonna be like empty but Yeah, like map generation is probably gonna have 
let's see. Mm. X and Y coordinates for the center. And based on that, we can easily get the bounds, right? It makes sense. Okay. And then if we have a discover function, that should discover a number of chunks around you. So let's say, uh, I mean, you know, we have some time to think about that. And you know, when it's done, I guess, when you finish all of the, lo or the like the important, Im really important logic, we can pull all of the terrain generation or like map generation into a plugin so we can clean up a bit the main like script and prepare for the next uh, stuff which I don't remember what was it but probably adding resources on the map or some shit which probably should still be in the map generation so yeah then uh, you know I mean We'll add that into the plugin and then maybe buildings and uh, you know the main uh, countdown until you get laser beamed by the evil ember. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Um, you would say that the first thing is uh, const bounds interval, it should be a F32. And let's say it's going to be 0 0.25. And the bounds interval is for the map. Right. All right. Okay, then let's say we have const um, discover. I want to say like discover size basically discover size should be like a new 32 maybe let's say eight chunks right eight chunks around the player or like around your building basically would Obviously, we need to keep in memory like references to all of them. Not really, we can query all of them. That's another option. Because it's ECS, we can do that easily. Might add. But what I actually want is to also have a discover like render size because this is generation size so it generates eight chunks around you but we render the image just for uh, let's say four chunks around you discover render size and, you know, we'll change these values, but uh, so as I as I showed in uh, in this drawing here, like we'll have a full discover size and the render size. So And then let's say it's going to be a component. So derive component struct. How can we call it? Chunk. So it should have a chunk. And this is going to be a tag, right? Can we? maybe say that the chunk is going to have an x and a y 
I thirty two. I guess why not? So X is gonna be an I thirty two. I was just thinking maybe I size. Mm. Not necessarily like. No, I see that baby uses use and the uh, ifs like that. So I would rather keep it as close to baby because we are gonna work the most with baby. Even though I don't know, I think I like more use size and uh, eye size, but maybe it's better with like explicitly stating 32 bits okay so this is gonna be the chunk it should have x and y uh, it should be like chunk position and chunk mm. but let's keep the components like simple for now it's fine so based on this x and y we can figure out if the chunk was already drawn or not so that's the one thing okay and we are going to have a discover function right which is going to take in x y probably the chunks that we already have and uh, we actually just generate the new chunks that have to be generated So let's imagine that we don't do any map generation for uh, the beginning here when we do ground so ground needs to have a global transform it means that we don't even need anything like only ground right for this part i guess that's what i think right okay that's that's one thing right there okay Again, I, I think that, you know, transform is going to be default, so... Oh. Well, yeah, we can actually add a transform. But other than the transform, do we need anything else? I don't think so. It's like only transform and ground. So we should add a transform. Not sure... What the fuck am I doing? Uh, default right and that's how we do it is this gonna add you know I'm not sure if it's gonna add a global transform or what yeah it's not hmm Really, that's interesting. Like, does this have... Oh, it has global transform. Okay, anyway, let's... Uh, let's say we had a PBR bundle. What the fuck is a PBR bundle? I mean, let's see what the default is, I guess. You know, we'll, we'll add like global transform and, uh, and so on, but 
if it works like this, it works like this. We can add the global transform by hand. So, oh, I don't complain. So global transform. Do we have default? So in my idea, this should work, right? I don't know. Maybe global transform needs transform or something dumb. But yeah, this works, right? It's like we have a huge plane at zero. So that's how this logic works okay so again we have this thing let's say let's actually do the discover function so discover right this is gonna be discovering terrain so it needs x i 32 y no it was pretty cool x hmm. and y I32 and I think we need the iterator for chunks that's gonna be interesting can we have like because I don't want to have like vec Also curious what discover should do as a function. Like what should it return? Should it return anything? Like probably it should return the noise maps for each new chunk. You know, that would be a fair, fair thing to do. But, you know, in this case, we are going to do probably something like... So, discover size. Let's actually make it 4 and 2. So, it's going to be the radius, not the circumference. Or, how is it called? So... Well, we can do simple for loops, we can do maps, uh, range, so like stuff like x minus discover size, right, up until x plus discover size, so this would be like the range, right, from a uh, X to finish, then we can iterate it or what? Can we zip it? No, what the fuck? Huh. I mean, Intersperse into iter. Okay. So this gives us an iterator. Then we can zip it. Wait. Y minus discover size as I thirty two up until y plus discover size like but this doesn't give us the permutations right it gives us only the the zip so can we have a rust Permutations to back. 
Oh, thank you, dude. Oh, wow. I mean, I wanted to do it with... Uh, Functions there because I'm. Uh... Oh. Wait, what? First map, all the first names. For every first name. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, makes sense. Okay, I mean, uh, the last one we can flatten it, but... Uh, I guess we can flat map this. With X. And X should be... Probably something like... Um, well, I deleted that, but it's this cover size as i32, y plus this cover size as i32. So this gives us a range into iter, and this can be mapped like this is gonna be, huh? Can we say it's not Haskell? x1, y1. And we can say like x1, y1, that's the return, so that's also the return, and I guess that's that for this. And what's the complaint here? Does it really matter if the... Okay, that's strange. Maybe I forgot to intuit it. Dude, what the fuck is this? Rust crap. Okay, so this is like the f the flat map, right? What the fuck do I mean to force? Yeah, but X is a number, so the fuck do you mean? Like I have to use move, or is it this one? It's so weird, like, X is literally a number. Yeah, whatever. So this would be like the range. Right. See, like, it's I32, I32. That's what I'm seeing this as. So this gives us all the points that we should generate, but at the same time we already have these chunks probably, which we need to check that we don't intersect with them. So we should filter out all of the chunks, but for that we need to actually get a list of chunks. So maybe say something like vec. Fuck is vec2, okay. Vec of chunk. So we are gonna have chunks. So let's say we are gonna filter. No, it's i vec2. 
would also be a good option here. IVEC2. So then we can have something like chunk, chunk position. I don't know if I like that, chunk. Chord, right? Still haven't figured out uh, the DREF defer stuff. So here we can say chunk chord, right? So it's somewhat more convenient. And here we can say IVEC2 new x1, y1. So you know, this gives us an IVEC2. So here we can have like coordinates, uh, chunks. Now, uh, this kind of sucks because chunk. Coordinates is gonna be like chunks dot iter, and this can be like a reference, right? Map chunk chunk dot zero. It's basically what we need, right? Maybe this thing in the end is like a really simple function that just returns a vec of coordinates that we need to uh, discover or like generate right closing the limiter plus what the fuck okay yeah, yeah. so chunk coordinates contains has in the fuck um, so this is an it has an IVEC to list and this is an IVEC how do you say chord in just check if slice contains element What the actual fuck? Well, I mean, we can use any for that. That's weird, what the fuck? Why doesn't it have such a useful function? I mean, it is easily implemented with this, right? You do any, like, chunk coordinate if... Uh, yeah, like, it's weird. So this will okay. Uh, basically, this is an IVEC. This is a simple IVEC. So, and what's strange is that, and we can just say reference. Even though, even though, here it's. IVEC. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a bit strange how uh, all of this works. I mean, here we just iterate over them, them hoes. This is like Ivec, okay, anyway. So, next step would be to actually convert this range into the actual return. Right, so, maybe something like collect and uh, return. Now,
I will do me mutable. Am I crazy? Why is it? Why do you need it as mutable? Are you? I mean, let's uh, dereference that. Dude, what the fuck? Cannot mutate. How do I mutate? Uh, is the LSP going crazy or what? Really? That's insane. Cannot borrow as mutable. How the fuck do I mutate it? Any doesn't need. Wait, what? Wait, what? Since when is any mutable self the fuck? Dude, this is uh, not right. Like, why does it need a mutable reference? Whatever, hmm. let's just put it like that. Maybe, like, I never realized it's mutable, but yeah, sure, it, maybe it makes sense because it's like, hmm, yeah, I have no idea why because it changes the iterator, right? But it doesn't change the I was thinking it wants to change the chunks for some reason. I was like, what the fuck is happening, but. Yeah, like this function is gonna give us the chunks that we need to discover. So, uh, I mean, it's gonna be called each frame. Like, makes sense to me to call it each frame. Um, or I guess something like each frame. Now, obviously, we'll have to call discovering setup just to make things a bit smoother. Like, uh, setup is gonna be, you know, a loading screen, basically. like setup should be called like in the in the loading screen that's the main idea there so you know let's say for the simplicity sake that here we pass in x i32 Actually, should we do vec or uh, x and y? For now, let's do x and y. And here, let's say that we do x multiplied with bounds interval divided by 2, right? Whoa, what the fuck? Bounds interval divided by 2. And is it correct? Like, it's gonna be zero, it's gonna be zero. I don't like that. It should be x, ma 
Uh, yeah, we should. Shit. Because if it's if it's zero, it's gonna be between some value and some value. So we have to scale it and then subtract something. So I would say we multiply with bounds interval and then we subtract half. Does that make sense? Y multiply with bounds interval and then we add half. Right, am I, am I correct on that? Am I correct on that? Okay, like, sure, whatever, friend. So, oh, still x. But, like, if x is 0, then we are going to have minus bounds plus bounds. If x is plus 1, first is going to be scaled down to bounds interval, so 0 0.25. We subtract half. So, yeah, it sounds good to me, I think. I think this is how we do it. And then for y, it's the uh, same thing, but we have to replace x with y, right? G. Now, the only extra thing is as f32. Let's see if, uh, damn it, we need parentheses. Wait, what? Can I multiply? Shut show. Not like, no. As if 32. That's what you think. What the fuck? Oh, it wants F64. It wants F64. Alright, and this one is F32, so let's make it F64. Okay, and uh, I mean, um, you know, we have to switch it. So, yeah, I think. Probably this is how we want to do it. Sure, like this should be, you know, configurable and stuff. So map generation is going to take in coordinates and it's going to give us image. Right. Initially, no, I deleted that thing, um, but bro, like going back to that is gonna be insane honestly so let's just copy paste this let's no it it feels like i did very little in that one but anyway like whatever um, we don't need that part this is uh, ground for clicks so map generation Initially, we need to call to discover, discovery channel. So, we are going to do something like discover zero zero and uh, vec new. Right, it's going to be an empty vec. Then we can iter that bitch map it so here we're gonna get the vector map generation v dot x v dot y why not so this is gonna give us the images so we get images am i right this needs to be borrowed, sure. So, whoa, world images. Can we extend? Uh, no. The fuck. 
Oh, world images, okay. World images. I mean, this is um, iterator, so extend add. Okay, so add. We can do a for each and. Uh, oh, we can do a map, obviously. We can do a map. We can do a map, so this is gonna be image img. And we can do images dot add img, and this should give us handlers, right? Handle of image, and then we can generate the materials. So we can actually do something like mm, meth methamphetamine materials right and we can actually map one more time like that so then we have the handler right and uh, i don't know if that's enough but this gives us the materials right and then we can do a for loop. I mean, I'm just going to do for uh, material and materials, right? That should work, I, I think. Um, except that we shadow the, the thing. I mean, we also have a for each, right? But I... Uh, I, I don't know why I dislike for each to be honest. I like it looks better though. And yeah, you know what? Let's do for each. We don't need any. So material, and then we can actually just delete that part. And uh, yeah, yeah. So it's like. We discover it zero zero, and we do all of this shit. So this should generate a four by four. Let's do a smaller one, like two by two by two or something. Right. Let's see if uh, like it runs smoothly enough. I mean, nothing uh, showing, I guess, for some reason. For some reason, nothing really showed up. What is wrong with Discover? Okay, let's, let's try to see what Discover Yeah, this is the first time I need a uh, print. Oh, I need to do like this, and maybe it's um, maybe it's also debuggable, so we need to do like that. Not sure what the fuck. Like the only thing that I can think of is discover not finding anything because reasons so we do this range then we flat map into this one oh it's a not I meant not any so filter not right It has to not be in the list of chunks. Oh, it takes some time, I guess. Oh, there it is, I guess, or what? It only looks like it's one. Hmm, pretty 
strange. I mean, oh, they are on top of each other. Okay, they are on top of each other because of this right here, right? So, oh. Okay, I mean, hmm, strange. Like maybe you know, uh, just doing for loops and and stuff. It's better. So we need the position for from this one. We need it here. Um, the position is good. So wait, it's Ivek, yeah, yeah. So let points, I guess, or something, right? And then we can do points dot iter, and you know, we can easily just map, and then for each. But like here, we kind of need to zip it. We need to zip with points dot iter or something, and here material is gonna be this and point, right? And point is gonna be used in here, something like point dot x as if thirty two times whoops. And point no uh, y is gonna be zero and z is gonna be point dot z or y as if thirty two times huh you know what from uh, translation let's let's uh, no. destroy our brain with some point dot Extend with zero. Zero point zero. Oh. Into. Dot. How can we vector from point? Does that work? Mm. Baby, I back to back. No, like this is complete. Is there anything like vec related? really not really though like mm, kind of sucks like I want it as vec right <laughs> no I mean, it has from and stuff, but it's only for uh, unsigned and stuff. But man, you know, it would be really useful to have conversion between vec and the. Uh, It has as IVEC, right? But VEC, IVEC doesn't have as VEC. Oh, it has as VEC too. Okay, then that's what we need. 
point as vec2 and then we can extend it with 0.0, .0 though it's easier to first call extend then x x z y and then as vec right so this should probably do it oh as vec3 okay, so this should uh, place them right uh, hopefully so it's gonna lag in the start but we'll probably have some loading screen to load hmm something's uh, I forgot to multiply with chunk chunk size Cannot dude come on you can multiply more see like it has a uh, moon light 32 what the fuck victory bitches the, the how do you multiply with uh, oh as f32 okay I thought that you cannot multiply uh, like what's the point of having vectors if you cannot multiply them like you know in unity for example you can multiply vectors and stuff so let's see like this should generate a huge as map made of chunks right so if we take this one and make it uh, hidden see it's hidden it's pretty cool so you know now we have some chunking system we'll have to see how we can optimize it and actually do the discovery like when you move here but uh, we need to have some units to move buildings initially we have buildings so if you place a building here it's gonna draw here stuff like that we'll also have the you no know, generate the logic for the border but not actually show the border i think that's uh, that's somewhat important because it gives you that um, exploring incentive you know like you get attacked from a place you cannot see but uh, you know you can go there and uh, destroy the um, small brained people that attacked you so okay let's say that um, no. initial commit that's a gg for now i would say you know probably improve a bit everything here but move uh, move the terrain generation logic into a plugin that's how i would do it but after we finish everything about terrain generation and uh, yeah that's uh, that's it like uh, we'll see in the next one when we are gonna do more terrain generation probably i don't know we'll see so yeah see you